school? Well, uh, we caught the bus up here at the entrance to the cemetery, so I, I, we had to walk about half a mile. I walked from my home, which is behind Winton, to the, the Black Church. St. Peter's Church. And caught a bus. We had a bus finally, you know, all down through here. And Carl Vaughn drove a school bus. <laughs> and one time, <laughs> James North, this boy on there, reached out of the window as I got off the bus and caught me. You know, oh, no. the bus started me and I bit his hand. <laughs> I enjoyed school the thought I got in it. I didn't like grade school at all. I saw the liked high school after I got in it. I ran because there was more girls than <laughs> Well, uh, my dad, my mother died when I was 12, so I had to go all through high school uh, with just my dad. He says, you've all got to finish high school. So we all did. <laughs> One thing I remember about it definitely was that I asked my mother, you know, if I should have any particular attitude when I, at first day of school, because this was big time. Clifford was small time, but we were in the big time now. And she said, and people will ask you, Alice, how are you? And she said, always say fine, never say anything. And I stuck to that, and I remember those steps, and I remember going up and down, and every time anybody asked me how I felt, I said, fine. <laughs> and we had plays in high school. We put on junior play and senior play, and uh, I always, it was a lot of fun. We had pretty talented people that would make the backdrops, you know, kids in school. Found out that a lot of them were good at that. And uh, we would drop the curtain and change the scenery and maybe your clothes and come back, you know. I thought it was fun. John Thomas Nash and I were in the senior play and we did a play called Professor How Could You? And so, right at the end, we he had to lead and I had to lead, and he, he had to kiss me. So Miss mm -hmm. Gardner, who was <laughs> directed the play, said, "All right now, <laughs> this is not supposed to be a real kiss." <laughs> we had music appreciation in Miss Ware's class, and we had an old. Uh, Victrola recorder of some kind that, that she would play classical music. And they had an extension cord ran from somewhere in the back of the room and it ran down through to the machine. And one day we had to put our heads down on the desk to appreciate this classical music. Well, they had put the receptacle where they connected the the two things together on my desk while I'm fiddling with it with my head down. Well, one end of it was had a plug in it, you know, to plug the, the line in. The other one was open and I stuck my thumb in it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, brought an end to the uh, music class for the day. I never had any interest in school whatsoever. and. Uh, I was leaving when I got up in high school. I'd gotten pretty well fed up. And I went by and I saw, went over and told Mr. Higgins, I said, you know, I'm damn fed up with all this stuff. I'm going home. He says, damn it, shut up and sit down in that chair <laughs> and listen to what I got to tell you. He says, if you don't stay here long enough, to get a high school diploma, you'll never have an opportunity. There'll be no doors open for you. And he says, that's the least that you can get by on. And he says, you better think twice before you go home. And he says, I, I hope you will. And he sat there and talked to me. And, and I went on back to class. And he taught, taught agriculture. 
And I knew that would be the only way that I could, could pass to get to high school was to take agriculture. And, I, and when I went in high school, I went over and I talked to him. And I said, Mr. Higgins, I'd like to take agriculture. He says, Paul, how in the world can you take agriculture? Says, you live in town? And says, these boys live on a farm. Says, there's no way in the world I could, could let you do it. Well, I said, I don't know, Mr. Higgins. I said, you know, I, I got a calf on a clothesline. I said, wouldn't that be one? Well, he said, that would be one project. And I did. I had a calf that I was raising on, on a clothesline. <laughs> what about raising a hundred chickens? Well, he says, Paul, that, that gives you two projects, but you got to have four. What are you going to do? Well, I says, what about doubling up on the chickens? So the next day I went. He said, darn it, I'm going to let you take it, Paul. He says, after thinking it over, I'm going to let you take it. Well, I, I got in the chicken business that way. The fifth grade with Miss Meeks was I, probably everybody's favorite because she was just such fun. Yes. She had this program where we were to bring our toothbrush to prove that we had a toothbrush and could brush our teeth. And the boys were to bring a comb and a handkerchief and a toothbrush. And then we were graded, uh, some of the children did not have toothbrushes. So she bought them toothbrushes. And then at the end of the year, uh, we were on the honor system to say how often we brushed our teeth, <laughs> you know, combed our hair, that sort of thing. But it was health related.